Hi guys, my name is Honey Rock and I am a Generation 3 member of Heartshot Dance and I have the online only status. So I've been dancing off and on for about the past, I want to say five years. Um, back in college I had taken all forms of dance, so like jazz, modern, contemporary, but um, my senior year of college, I had taken a hip-hop independent study, so there were different things that drew me to that particular element of dance. Um, the first dance I remember learning um, was actually the Hara Hara Yukai, that shows how old I am, but um, it was definitely very fun. Um, I did Mikuru's part, and um, yeah, that brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> So my favorite dance that I want to say I've learned so far, prob even though I don't have it like 100% down yet, would probably have to be Sorry Not Sorry by Banana Lemon. I love the energy and the spunk and the charisma that all the members have and I just love the song so much. It's like one of my favorites. Um, and then also too, one of the other dances that I like a lot, still have to finish uh, memorizing it is Forever by Crystal K because I love the dance hall vibe that it has and there's a lot of like really clubby kind of energy through the song so I think that's pretty cool. So my favorite cover that I've done so far would have to be my most recent one, um, Ioma Thelma's um, We Are the World. I was always kind of like interested in Para Para because of the anime Super Gals and having a chance to do a dance that took some of the popular para para elements and broke it down in a way that was really simple and plus the song is like really catchy too and if you have a chance to like watch the music video she has like all these like little elements in there that are like really really cool like homages to DDR and stuff like that but um yeah I definitely do want to try some more para para stuff especially like some of the more complex movements um that para para might have as far as like the arm mechanics um because I find it very similar to voguing so I typically try and like pick dances that force me to go out of my element and learn new things and also re-familiarize myself with um, dance forms that I might not have tried in a while. It's been a while since I've been to any anime conventions but one of my favorites to always go to would be Otakon because I loved how it was like a bigger convention. I saw a lot of my friends there and I got to try um, more things and that was actually how I got into uh, Oda Temita uh, dance because I had gone to a few workshops that were being offered at Otakon so it kind of has like a special place in my heart but it's been a while since I've been to a convention. The last one um, that I actually went to was when we went to Fandom Fest this past August so that was like, my first one in like years that I've gone to. Um, I definitely love going and seeing like everybody cosplay and um you know just seeing the effort that a lot of people put into their costumes and then the shopping shopping a lot of a lot of shopping <laughs> k-pop or j-pop why do you guys do this to me <laughs> so um i would probably have to say i lean more towards k-pop um, because a lot of the choreography tends to utilize more elements of hip-hop and not just, um, you know, dances that are kind of, like, trendy. I know J-pop kind of does that, too, but, um, with the use of, like, power moves and, um, elements of b-boying and a lot of foundational stuff, but, um, it definitely pulls me in more, but also I kind of, like, recently moved from going into k-pop and more into k-hip-hop but yeah if i had to choose probably probably k-pop so um it's also been like a while since i watched anime too but my all-time favorite anime has to be samurai shampoo and i guess you know if you've been watching this video up until now you probably figured out why but um, the soundtrack is amazing. I love the animation style. Um, I also like Gankutsu a lot, The Count of Monte Cristo, again, because it has a very distinct art style. Um, Anohana has to be another one, even though that ripped my heart to shreds. But, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, definitely, definitely one of my top three favorite animes. Oh my god, favorite video game. Kingdom Hearts, hands down, hands down Kingdom Hearts, 
hands down, hands down. And the fact that come January, I'm finally, finally, after all my years of waiting, I'm going to get Kingdom Hearts 3. So long as, you know, nothing happens to push it back. You know, Tetsuya Nomura, I'm looking right at you. Don't you dare push back my game for like another 15 years. Otherwise, I will come to Japan and I will fight you. I will fight you. Other than that, um, my other favorite video games are Xenosaga, Legend of Dragoon, um, Parappa the Rappa, um, Dance Dance Revolution. I played a lot of that. Um, I also love the Persona series. Like each game is like so different, and like you think you're going to get like the same thing because the mechanics are very similar, but each story is just so unique to its own timeline. And then you know to have them go back and blend them all together, and then you have the spin-off series, like the Dancing All Night series. So, um, then of course too, you know, kicking it old school. You got to go with the Pokemon, hands down. You can't, you know, not play Pokemon. Otherwise, you don't have a soul. So, yeah, and then pretty much when it comes to Pokemon, I always pick like a water starter. Sometimes I pick grass, but mostly I pick water starters. So, yeah. so it's been like a million years since I last cosplayed, but my, um, my next cosplay that I actually want to do um, would actually be Merrily from Vocaloid. She's a very rare Vocaloid because not a lot of people talk about her but I had actually ordered her costume years ago and what happened was I was missing part of the costume and I was just going back and forth with the seller and eventually I just gave up trying to get the pieces that I was missing so eventually like I want to go and actually get the pieces that I was missing in order to actually do that cosplay um, I also would like to play cosplay Akasha from Queen of the Damned I just think she's such a BAMP character that, um, you know, she just has, like, that mysterious evil energy, and, you know, she's, like, one of my favorite movie villains. Um, I also would like to cosplay Shauna from Legend of Dragoon, like, the Dragoon form, but I also kind of, like, don't want to walk around wearing very heavy foam wings, <laughs> but it's definitely something that is, like, on my dream list to do. So in my spare time, um, I definitely like to do stuff that's creative. So I do like a lot of digital art, um, mainly stuff like in Photoshop. I also draw too. Um, I find it really relaxing and then I sing a lot. Um, I love learning songs in new languages. So I'll sing in Japanese and Korean, um, even though my accent's like a little weird. But again, I'm not a fluent speaker, so that's a given but um also to like learning songs in German because that's where my grandma's from so um being able to kind of connect a little bit more um one of the things that I hate about drawing though is not having a consistent art style it's just like I want to find my style but you know it's still been like years since I started drawing and I still haven't found my particular art style yet so one of my goals while I'm a member of Heart Shot Dance, um, I have been very passionate about music for years and I'm slowly but surely like making more headway in that and one of the things that I find, I grew up watching, you know, artists like Aaliyah, Janet Jackson, um, you know, NSYNC, like a lot of music videos that had like choreography in them. And I'm not really seeing, like, a whole lot of artists, like, in the United States, like, really use choreography anymore. Um, which is part of the reason, too, why I gravitated towards music from Asia, because you see, like, there is, like, still very much a heavy presence of choreography, like, within music videos and in the music industry. So, one of the goals that I have for Heart Shot Dance is to work on my dancing, um, because there's a particular label that... I follow but I'm also kind of sort of interning for them um, and my goal is to one day actually audition for them but I don't feel comfortable auditioning with just voice alone um, I want to be able to have that dance backing so that way I could really like bring back something that I'm not really seeing a lot of here um, and I feel that being a member of Heart Shot I am going to be forced to um, just take some challenges head-on 
and there's accountability that's there because I have my members that I could rely on and you know just people that I could get wisdom from like our our leader Viola she's just amazing and I really look up to her a lot and then also to a goal that I have um you know as far as heart shot dance as a whole just watching us and helping us grow and finding more opportunities for us to do so um because like I'm very moved by our our statement you know always shoot for your dreams and having met people through conventions and seeing what we get to do and having them dance alongside us and seeing how it makes like a lot of people happy and also kind of inspire them to do what they love doing I'm very big on that and I think that's why you know I feel so at home with heart shot and I'm just always amazed by every single thing that we do and like everyone who uploads a cover I'm so proud of them and um, you know I just at the end of the day it's just shooting for my dreams and just seeing how as I'm shooting I'm looking at how everyone else is shooting for theirs and it just motivates me so being able to do that together that's like the best thing in the world so guys, you know, that was a little bit about me. I hope I was interesting <laughs> enough and not boring. Um, you know, so again, thank you so much for supporting Heartshot Dance, and I hope you guys continue to shoot for your dreams. Bye-bye!